Shirley MacLaine and the star of Splash, Wall Street, Roxanne, Daryl Hannah, who's with us tonight with the author of Steel Magnolias, Robert Harling. Welcome them both. Me, I'm afraid, Daryl. <laughs> Another bad break. You're both very welcome, Annie. You look very different in that clip. I can honestly say I've never seen you look quite as bad. <laughs> yeah. Was it was it a deliberate move on your part, a deliberate career move to play a less glamorous role? Um, I I guess you could say it was more a deliberate move to play a, a more fully realized, developed character part. But um, the way she looked was sort of uh, an expression of her insecurity and her sort of... But nobody will know it's you. Yeah, well... <laughs> yeah. And that accent, is that... Where do you come from? Or is I've come you... from Chicago. So you don't come from deep south, we told her, I think. No. Uh, but you did it, I mean... He does. <laughs> yeah, he does, yeah. But the accent, did you... Was that hard? Did you have to work very hard at that? We had a dialect coach, um, yeah. and um, Dolly Parton was on the set, so she helped us along, and Bobby did too. I swear, sometimes I can understand nearly every word that woman says. <laughs> <laughs> were, were you initially surprised, Robert, when, when Daryl, who's played enormously glamorous roles, was actually nominated for the role in your play? Well, when, um, when Herbert Ross, the director, said, uh, and I think, um, I think for Anel we want to use Daryl Hannah, I was a little shocked because I said, you mean goddess glamorous Daryl Hannah? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and he said, but you haven't seen her audition. She has something very special, something very unique and magical. And um, she did. He was absolutely right. She had the specs. She did. <laughs> did you audition in the specs? Well, I did, yeah. Are those your own glasses? Yeah, I'm, I'm very far-sighted. And usually when I um, do a reading, I don't wear the glasses because I'm too nervous to read anyway. But I felt it was right for the role, so I wore them to the... Yes, they're very, they're, do you know Dame Edna Everidge? I no. suppose you haven't come across her, the charming Australian woman. Uh, and she wears glasses like that. <laughs> and we, we have a woman who works on television here with prominent teeth. She wears glasses like that. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Now, this, this part that you're playing, uh, Steel Magnolias, mm. it revolves around six women. Yeah. And of course, the six stars that are playing the roles are, are major stars. Yeah. And um, was there a lot of jostling for the camera going on all the time? <laughs> Oh, no, no. Come on, no. <laughs> Yes, no, no. Yeah. You can um, see how mean yeah. and vicious Harold is. <laughs> yes. No, as a matter of fact, um, the filming took on the tone of the, the... The film is about friendship and the support these women show each other through the different trials and tribulations of their lives. And, and, and in the filming process, we actually kind of took on that relationship with each other. And even when some of the other actresses weren't in scenes, but they knew that... Uh, like I needed support or one of the others needed support they would all be there for you to encourage you and and um, so it was it was a very uh, um, nurturing environment and well, it was very hard to find space on the screen of course when Dolly Parton is there <laughs> did, she, did she tend to dominate the camera for long well, she's so beautiful that she you know but but big she... big <laughs> edging across to get into the shot. I don't know, Bob, what do you think? Well, um, Dolly, of course, is one of our biggest stars, you know. Yeah. 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 And we're some of her biggest fans, too. Yeah. Of course you her. are. And I wouldn't expect you to say oh, a no, nasty we, word about it. We her. adore her. She's yeah. great. Yeah. Now, it was, it was actually done in your hometown, wasn't it? That's true. Where, where you based the play. Yes. But that was a brave thing to do. Well, it was, a, it was an ambitious thing to do because this little tiny town had never seen anything like the likes of Dolly and Daryl mm. and Shirley and Sally coming to live What's for three and a half months. What's it called this time? It's called Natchitoches. 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 It's sort of a North Louisiana pronunciation of a French spelling of an Indian word, so... And, and it's spelled Natchitoches. Yeah. So. It's very confusing. Yeah. Well, it became kind of the civic thing to do to move out of your house and let yeah. a star live there. Yeah. And Daryl lived on a horse farm. Yeah. Uh, it, was really it was really amazing. She could go out and ride horses every morning before breakfast. Everyone was really friendly and, and, and warm and welcoming and funny, as they are in the film, too. Everyone was really funny. But I think after about the first week when traffic started getting clogged up and they got a little more disillusioned with the whole house. Did you, did you find it uh, strange to meet the kind of people that your characters were based on? Um, I, I did, because I'd never really spent any time in the South before that, so yeah. it was, um, 
a nasty experience. No, <laughs> it was just um, I, I, I didn't really expect the people to um, uh, to have so much humor in their just everyday uh, dialogue and so much warmth, really genuine gentility. You know? Yeah, Quite but not amazing. much to do in the evenings. Well. There was one place we could go, which was called the Bodacious Country, which is sort of a... The Bodacious Country. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sort of your truck driver, right. road, road side bar. Yeah. Yeah. What, did, what did they do there of an evening? Well, you dance. Bearing in mind, uh, <laughs> 7 o'clock. Yeah. Well, uh, you, you, you dance. You, you, we learned the Texas two-step. Which is sort of uh, the, a mutant cousin of the cha-cha. <laughs> you do it, Texas two-step. <laughs> They're always, yeah. they're always demonstrating it earlier. No, I, <laughs> Give us a quick one off the Texas Two-Step. I can't, two step. I can't. I can't look, we've got music but, and everything. Oh, no, 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 I, I really, I don't Please. remember. Oh, oh, go on. I, I can explain the object of it is to sort of have your, your feet doing these uh, series of very complicated quick steps while your your upper body has to pretend it has nothing to do with the lower But there's half no of use you. talking about it. You <laughs> have to show us. You have to show us. This is Bob's area no, no. of what, expertise. Get up and do it. Come along. Oh please. Oh, God. Well, she'd have to remind. She'd have to remind me because I've forgotten. I can't. It's one, two, three, glide. You're the southerner, Bob. Well, yeah. listen. <laughs> We won't fall out over the Texas two step. Uh, it's a, it's a bit of a did our agents say there was choreography involved in this show? No. But <laughs> well, tell me about uh, she had the, the nightlife there, which consisted of the Texas two step. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, also she learned how to play pool. See, she and Sam Shepard would play pool, and yeah. she beat him, and she was mm -hmm. new at it. Yeah. Uh, and what about the premiere? That was held there as well, wasn't it? That must yeah. have been a wonderful evening. Yeah. Daryl, uh, uh, Daryl was there, and Dolly was there, and, and Daryl in a in a testimony to the film, had Dolly hair that night. She had Dolly's hair was hairdresser like did oh. my hair, and so I. <laughs> they look like twin sisters. <laughs> Must have been wonderful. She looked like a twin sister, Dolly. <laughs> <laughs> a skinny there twin are slight sister. Yeah. Yeah. Only very slight. <laughs> yeah. Now you best remember. If you don't, I'm sure you've always been asked this, but um, you know, if you play the part of the mermaid, that's what you're going to be remembered for. Right? Mm. You know, even mm. if you do Hamlet. <laughs> You're going to be remembered for being the mermaid, Madison the mermaid. That must have been very tough to play that part. I mean, getting into the, into the skin of the, the, the tail. The tail, yeah. yeah. Once you were in that, presumably, you couldn't get out. Well, I couldn't get out until the end of the day because it took five hours to put on. But I mean, what about the call of nature? Well, I, I, I couldn't eat or drink during the day because if that would ruin the whole day of shooting if I had to. That must have been murder. Be excused. <laughs> yes. Well, and the other thing is that the tail was constructed in a way so that it was very, very tight. And if I got out of the water, it cut off my circulation because I didn't have uh, and the, the strength to move it because it was so heavy. So when everyone would break for lunch, they would leave me in the, in the tank or in the water, and I'd kind of be swimming around waiting for everyone to get back. <laughs> Every day. That's really rotten, isn't it? You just sat there, they all went out to lunch, came back drunk, and you were still sitting in the tank. Yeah. And sometimes Ron Howard would come and like drop a French fry in my mouth. Oh, that's really rotten. And then you, what about the kissing underwater? That can't have been much fun either. It's really not possible. Because you drown, don't you, if you kiss? Yeah, because, well, yeah, it's sort of you hard to. Swallow a lot. Of yeah. stuff. <laughs> It makes you kiss with your mouth closed, which is the best and most hygienic way to do it anyway. And then what? You also had to kiss. <laughs> you, you also had to avoid uh, Steve Martin's nose in Roxanne, didn't you? Yeah. That kind of be hard. Yeah. 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 Although, it, I, you get used to that kind of thing pretty easily. As a matter of fact, he started looking funny without it. <laughs> <laughs> your next film's with Tubby Moore. Yeah. He always gets cast. Oh, He's no fool. He's, he's no, was he all right? Oh, he was uh, very well behaved. He English gave us an awful lot of trouble when he was last here. <laughs> and, did he? and that's going to be real fun, I imagine. Yeah. It's good to see both of you. Of Thank course, you. we're wishing you well, and it's the, the premiere on, on Wednesday. Yeah. And success to Stingway Nose. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Yeah.